Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. In southern Ontario, temperatures are dropping below freezing now. Find out what animals stick around for our snowy winter months in today's episode. Pretty rugged part of the trail here. So it's a brisk day for sure. Um, the high today is going to feel like minus 7 degrees Celsius. That's below zero. <laughs> so, we're definitely getting to those cooler temps. I did see some birds foraging. Wasn't able to get a lot of footage. But it was just peaceful to be in their presence as they're flitting around me. Cardinals. Golden Crown Kinglet, uh, Chickadees. So, anyway, nice little variety of small songbirds. So I just pulled over because I saw a flock of turkey, uh, wild turkeys, and I see them over there in the field. They um, <laughs> started flying away from the road because big trucks were going by. Yeah, apparently they don't like really big trucks. But anyway, there were, there were cars and trucks that went by and they... Uh, the wild turkeys are not that fond of big vehicles. So they were out on the road feeding. Uh, there was, I don't know, seven or eight of them. Anyway, um, they're not too afraid of eating at or on the highway. before 7.30. You can see off in the distance the brilliant colors of the sunrise. And so I'm going to bring you along on this trip today and see what kinds of wildlife we see. Oh, I can see that in the background. The colors of sunrise. Thank you. 
view, this view never fails to impress me. themselves maybe it's just signs of the animals um, like scat or in the case of deer because it's their rut maybe rub signs on trees things of that nature oh actually here's here's one from a previous year it's not current it's not fresh so when you see signs like this of deer that have passed through the area before this would be from the bucks rubbing the velvet off their antlers it's squatting down so it's not too far off the ground that kind of a scar left behind by deer <laughs> yes I use little trees sometimes to help me get up because I have about 20 pounds of equipment hanging onto my frame Keep looking.
So there's another person that walked into this creek area and uh, the animals all know. I've been standing still in this one spot for some time now. And the interesting thing is, I watched deer cross over the creek very slowly, deliberately, to get to the other side. They're just staying ahead of us. The muskrat that is in this area knew I was here, so it would surface from time to time, but in a different spot. So it wasn't that I was always quick enough to be able to video it as it was swimming across the creek and then came over to my side. It didn't come up onto the, you know, higher ground. So it has a probably a riverbed den lodge that's uh, somewhere not too far from where I'm standing. And even that bird of prey, it's in a prime position to look for prey, but also to see when we come through the woods. <laughs> so that's why sometimes what I'll do is I'll just stand very still in hopes that I blend in and almost forget I'm here. So, pretty interesting sightings this morning. It's been a really beautiful morning out here in the woods. And so, uh, I'm just gonna get ready to head on out now. But it just goes to show, when you stand still, animals tend to forget you're there. And they carry on. And that's what I wanna see, is I wanna see them carrying on so that they're doing their normal behavior and not stressed. So, yeah, it's a beautiful, mostly sunny day today. I think the high is supposed to be about six degrees, so it's a little on the uh, warmer side than what we have had where it's been down around zero and below zero degrees Celsius. So anyway, I'll show you this pretty trek as I continue on out of this forest. <laughs>
quite a cool view. To look down into the valley at that creek. And that open area across from the bend is where I spent a good amount of time this morning. It's where I stood and the animals were disturbed by others that were coming through. And when they were, that's when I saw, you know, the deer crossing the creek. The muskrat running to the water each time uh, an off-leash dog came through. But it made it interesting for me to be there when they were not disturbed and just uh, they were just carrying on. <laughs> 